Okay. Amen. Viewers, thank you for tuning in. Happy 4th of July weekend. Praise the Lord. Please be safe out there. And uh, just uh, stay safe. That's all I can say. Be safe. Stay safe. Amen. Today's teaching, uh, the title is, um, praise the Lord. Let me go to it. <laughs> Living in the truth. So help us God. Living in the truth. So help us God. Now let's go to John chapter 18. Verse 37. Pastor V, I love you with all my heart. I really do. I really do, Pastor V. I love you. That's the Holy Spirit talking through me. I love you with all my heart. When I love on you, God's going to use me to keep on loving on you. Praise the Lord. And we have to go from a place of us believing what we've been taught to believing into that place of the supernatural. Your source is God, not the system, not your money that you have. Your source is God. In John chapter 18, verse 37, that's John 18, 37, Pontius Pilate asked Jesus this 2,000 years ago. 2,000 years ago, Pontius Pilate asked this to Jesus. In verse 37, he says, Pilate therefore said to him, Are you a king then? Look at that question mark. And Jesus answered, You say rightly that I am a king. For this cause I was born. Look, he's telling Pilate his purpose and the reason why he's here on this earth. And for this cause, I have come into the world that I should bear witness to the truth. Everyone who is of the truth hears my voice. Praise the Lord. That was 2,000 years ago. And you know what? Coming out of Pontius Pilate, that was a good question, don't you think? I think that's a good question. Of course, everyone has their own version of the truth. Do you agree with me? Whatever you believe, you're going to believe it's true. Either if it's right or wrong. You know, I've seen people, including myself, uh, do something for so long thinking it's right, and it's really not giving me any results. So think about it. Is it really good? <laughs> not really, no. I want you to write down, if you're taking note, is there any such thing as the real truth? Now remember, you just read verse 37. John 18, 37. That should give you some kind of understanding and enlightenment. You agree, Reverend George? That should give us an understanding. Look what he said. He came to bear witness to the truth. Everyone who is of the truth hears his voice, hear his word. So I did a little study on it. And one of the meaning of truth is Truth should be immovable. What's right is right and what is wrong is wrong. Truth should be immovable. It should be an immovable standard. Which all things can be measured. You can measure all things through truth. Deacon Rory, true, true. The truth. The truth sets you free. The truth gives you understanding. And unfortunately, we've been trained is that the truth is what we think. Oh, this is the truth. The truth. Oh. You got to be, and that's why he says you got to come like a child to him. You got to be willing to be 
taught, corrected. Come on now. If, if the Spirit of God corrects you, will you receive it? Please do. That's a smart move. Because the, the proof of you being corrected, it is proof that God loves you and he's giving you, listen to this one, Pastor V. He's giving you an opportunity to get what he has for you. Can you believe that God has something special for you? Yet because you don't know the truth about the matter, it's on hold. Praise the Lord. It's like giving my goddaughter uh, Jennifer's car for her to drive. Oh, she'll get behind the wheel and try to drive. Will that be safe? No, it's not. That's not good. That's not good. So the truth is, she's not ready for it. Oh, praise the Lord. Did you hear what the Lord said? The truth. So you have to be ready for the truth. So when God, Isaiah, gives you the truth, it's because you're ready for it. You hear that? That's the Holy Spirit now. You're ready for the truth. You're ready for enlightenment. You're ready for the light that gives you understanding. Never mind yesterday. That's yesterday. What counts is today. You know, what are you going to do with today so that you can have a better tomorrow? Praise God. The truth will allow you to fix your today so that you may have a better tomorrow. Now, once again, the Spirit of the Lord said it should be immovable. I don't have to fight you. Who's fighting you against it? You don't have to fight them. I had my, my natural father from birth. My father was a very wise man, and I'm very honored, and I feel privileged that he was my father. And when I used to argue with him, silly things, you know what he used to say? Okay, Gregory, you'll find out. And he closed the conversation. That's a smart man. And he'll turn into, what do you think about those uh, Yankee or those Rays, huh? I like those Rays. They're a good team. He'll go somewhere else. Because he saw that I wasn't ready for the truth. I wasn't ready. He's telling me principles to do. And one of his saying was, you think I got to this age being stupid? Okay, And then another thing he used to tell me is, and God was using my father to raise me. Don't be old and stupid and broke, not good, and stubborn. You got to be willing to change. And it's never too late to change. But of course, I wasn't ready for the truth. But now that I am the age that I am, I'm more mature, than what I used to be when he was talking to me, I understand that what he was telling me was the truth. Sound advice, sound advice is related to the truth. Sound advice, they're related. So, truth is a reality, not a perception. Did you hear that? What is a perception? Well, this is the way I see things. This is the way I... Good for you. You know, you're entitled to that. But the way you see things may not work for me. And may not work for your family. Everyone is responsible to find truth. Give me three amen. 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 amen and amen. I'm responsible to be due diligent and seek that truth. There's a leak in my house. A pipe broke. Should I get the electricians? Should I call the fire department? I better get some plumbers. That's the truth. Somebody praise the Lord. Come on. I don't mean to be, you know, harsh, but it's the truth. Okay? My roof is leaking. I guess I'll get a TV repairman. Because the TV repairman fixed my neighbor's roof. You better get a roofer. 
So truth is reality. Write it down. Truth is reality, not perception. And the Spirit of God shared with me, and I'm sharing with you, there's only one place to find that standard of truth. Praise you, Father. I love you. There's only one place to find that standard. So that means truth has a standard. Praise the Lord. You hear that? It has a standard. It stands by itself. You don't have to argue when you're speaking and you know the truth. Thank you, Pop, for teaching me that. You let the person be. You let him be. And he let me be. I was ignorant and he gave me respect, not a fight. Write that down. Learn to give respect, even though it's not may not be due. Maybe it's not you haven't earned it, but learn to do that. Learn to give that respect and then just please. And let that person learn. But you need to hear what the Spirit of God is saying to you today. He says, there's only one place to find that standard of truth. And that truth comes from God alone. Daniel, let's go to, uh, before we go to the next verse, let's go to verse 38, please. 38. Pilate said to him, what is truth? I'm up on the screen now. Pilate said, what is is true. And when he had said this, he went out again to the Jews and said to them, I find no fault in him at all. Pilate did not know him, but he saw that this person was true. Oh, Jesus, I love you. If you're taking notes, don't worry, let it be. Write this down. Truth is a person. Wow. Pilate said, I find no fault in him. I find, well, what is he doing wrong? Now, Daniel, let's go to John 17, chapter 17, verse 17. John 17, 17. That truth come from God. The truth come. And then Jesus said, sanctify them by your truth. Your word is true. So truth has the power for sanctification. Truth can sanctify us. Uh, what do you mean? Holiness. It can take you from a place of corruption to a place of right standard, holiness. I remember going through something and the Spirit of God said to me, you stop doing that and you will not allow those spirits to come inside of you. You can repent, you can pray, you can rebuke, but if you don't stop doing that, those spirits will continue to come inside of you. Those spirits of error, error, error. So what is an error? The opposite of truth. So, through the unction of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father God. Oh, praise God. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Father. Glory to God. Amen, amen, amen. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Sanctify them by your truth. Your word is truth. When I pray for my meal, that's what I do. Father, sanctify the food according to your word. Did you hear that? 
Sanctify this food according to your word. You got some people, you don't want them to pray. They want to pray there for an hour. They think they're on the pulpit or something. And Lord, we ask you for the folks. It's okay to pray for Africa and all the uh, Haiti, the Migrant Republic. But listen, on your own time. <laughs> yeah, you know, <laughs> we're going to eat, you know. Father, sanctify this food according to your word. Now, and another thing you should do is when something is wrong in your life, you should say, Father, sanctify the situation according to your truth. Come on, giving you a short prayer that, it, that is powerful. Amen. Father, sanctify this. Father, sanctify this. Father, sanctify this. Father, sanctify this home according to your word. Amen. Father, take this home from being a liability to an asset. It's not a bad word. It means it's costing you money. That's what that means. Liability is not like, what. <laughs> oh my God, is, that's a problem. No, it's not a problem. You got to go through the process. Everybody does. So like Pop say, play the Monopoly game. What qualifies you to play the game, the money game? A birth certificate. What disqualifies you to play the game? A death certificate. <laughs> Once you're gone, you ain't going to need it. <laughs> it's the Lord. So the scripture was here telling us how to move from a place not right to a place that is right. So here Jesus is stating about his father, his word, even though he's the word. Sanctify them. Who he's talking to? He's talking to the father. Sanctify them by your truth. Your word is your truth. So there again, it tells me that truth is a person. So holiness can only be achieved by listening to the word. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? You got to hear me. God's training us right now. You don't realize it. Either your flesh is stronger or your spirit going to be weaker. So I told you already, she can't do no wrong in my eyes. So, so you better listen to the Holy Spirit. And walk out of here today with your blessing. Didn't we pray for something before we started? Didn't we pray for a financial breakthrough? Then pay attention. I just finished saying the word of truth proceeds from the Father. I, kept, I just said that. And I said the only way is you're going to receive it is by listening to the word. So that means I got to close my ears to everything around me. When I'm in the Word, I don't want to read. I don't want to. I don't want to talk to the phone. When I'm on the pulpit and I get a text, I ignore that thing. Go suck a, nail, a lemon, <laughs> okay? <laughs> I'm about to say something else up in here. Praise the Lord. Forgive me for my sins, Father. Okay? We got to learn to do this. We got to learn to get focused. Just like that camera has to be focused to record me. Guess what? If it's out of focus, guess what? When, the, when, the, when, when you go to upload the video or, or you know, it's going to be all blurry. And that's how we are in life. The reason why we can't handle that little bit of money that we got is because we're all blurry. We need to learn the truth. You hear that, Daniel? Once we learn the truth, then we can handle whatever comes. Because it's being sanctified by the Father. Somebody say amen. amen. It's being sanctified by the Father. I didn't say your house is a mess. I said your house is costing you money. So how do we handle this thing? Let's pay it off. All of you in agreement, say amen. amen. Say God pay it off. Come on, say it, say it like you mean it. You can receive it. God pay it off. And if you don't have a house, say God give me a house and pay it off. I'm your son. See, we keep, you know, we judge ourselves. Oh, I'm not that holy. I'm not. Listen, God don't remember your sin. He blot some out. He blot out all your transgression. Get your mind right. Let the word sanctify your mind. Say, say this with me right now. Father, sanctify my mind with your word. Your word is true. I want to believe the truth. I want to trust the truth. Not what I think. All my life I've been getting myself in trouble. My God. So we have the words of God. The words of God is true. Write it down. 
The word of God is true. The word of God is true. Praise the Lord. The word of God is true. Say it again. The word of God is true. Come on, I'm all right. I'm flowing good. The word of God is true. You just work with me. Don't work about anybody else. Written in the Bible. Well, where, where was it written? At? In the Bible. Say it was written in the Bible. Let's go to John chapter 4. We've been in the book of John. I don't know if you noticed. John chapter 4, verse 23. Maestro. And then we'll be soon closing up. Yeah, yeah, do, you know, yeah that's it. <laughs> Remember, you hear me? Your less is more, man. John 4, 23. Everybody's up there. Look at it. Look at the, look it up there. Look up there. Look up there. Look at the screen. But the hour is coming and now is. Somebody say, now it is. Now it is. When the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father is seeking such to worship him. Ain't come, ain't, Jeremy, ain't come, I'm coming up here, I'm going to sing. You ain't singing. To who? To yourself? I want to look pretty. <laughs> Go to the shower and look pretty. He's looking for worshipers. How do you worship the Father? When you seek the truth. Come on, somebody. Write it down. You and I worship the Father when we seek the truth. I have a situation. I have a dilemma. Deacon, so I'm going to seek the truth. I'm going to find the truth on this. And the truth is going to help me and guide me and lead me. That's why he said, when the spirit of truth comes, when the spirit, so he's incapable of lying. I wish somebody here with the Lord saying, I know, I know, your body's tired, I know, I know. I know, you got a long weekend, you'll be able to sleep, don't worry. He's incapable, so I got to find, I got to tap into the truth. And he says, is now, now is, you hear that? Now is comma. When the truth. So when you're in the presence of the truth, guess what you do? You worship the truth. You worship the truth because you're a worshiper. What you're worshiping? The Father. And how you do it? In spirit. I can't do it in my mind. I can't do it in my mind. My mind, my mind don't know how to worship the Lord. My mind don't know how to worship God. My spirit worship God. My mind don't know how to tap into the truth. My spirit traps in, taps into the truth. Mm -hmm. My mind don't know how to seek God, the Father. My spirit knows how. Because they hear his instructions from the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord, somebody. And this is the standard of truth. Hallelujah. You heard that? This is a standard. So truth has a standard, Brenda? Yes, it does. This is the truth. This is the standard of truth. Where you will find fulfillment. Did you hear that? Somebody said, I need to be fulfilled. Amen. Well, truth will fulfill you. You're trying to be fulfilled by people, places, and things. That ain't going to work. Those are temporary pleasure. Somebody said temporary pleasure. Temporary, temporary pleasure. Your fulfillment comes from the truth. And the truth is a person. And we find life in Christ Jesus, who is the truth. Praise the Lord. Now in John chapter, no, let's go to 24 before I move on. 24, and this will be the last scripture. Please. Uh, John chapter 4, 24. John 4, 24. God is spirit. And those who worship him must, what? Worship him, must what? Worship him in spirit and true. Quotation. You can't get around it. There's no way of getting around it. If you want to get closer to him, you got to learn the truth. And the truth comes from him. And then you know it, see? Then you'll be able to just get yourself out of that, that dilemma. Praise the Lord. What way do I have to go? 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 
What way do I have to go? Never go this way. Always, whoop, whoop. You're in a circle, but it's okay. You're in a circle, it's okay. You're being prepped to go forward and upwards. The truth, I hear you, I hear you, Holy Spirit. The truth will allow a person to go forwards and upwards. The truth. Because the truth is coming from the word of God. Which is incapable and it will help you achieve whatever you need to achieve and overcome. Whatever you need to achieve and overcome. And it comes by three steps, Jennifer. You're going to have to study. You're going to have to learn. And then you'll be able to grow. Study, learn, and grow. Do not think you know it all. Okay? I have a teacher. Because I'm emulating certain things in a certain way. And the teacher tells me, oh, you think you know it? And I say, hmm. No comment. You didn't hear me say that I know it. I didn't say I know it, but I do know one thing. I'm finding fulfillment in it. Oh, Jesus, you heard that? And then they, he just smiles. See, I'm finding fulfillment. And whatever I'm doing, what I'm doing, you hear this, Caleb and Daniel? You got to find fulfillment in it. When you start liking it, you start getting better. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, I love you. It's like anything in life. When you get up in the morning and you find fault to get to your job, when you get there, you will be miserable. But if you find good things, if you find fulfilledness before getting there, guess what happens? When you get there, all hell can break loose and it won't affect you. And everybody around you will hate you because you're walking in joy, happy. You're such a nice guy. I am not a nice guy. I'm a good guy. Because I follow good. So let truth fulfill you. Let truth fulfill you. you got to seek it and find it and then you'll be all right. And remember the truth, the word of, of truth that proceeds from the Father will just change your whole perspective for thing okay because uh, it, it's not truth is reality not and not perception truth is reality and not perception praise the Lord I'll go one more scripture and this is it and we'll close up John chapter 8 verse 31 please 831 831 good timing John chapter 8 verse 31. He says, is up on the, on the board, is up on the screen. Then Jesus said to those Jews who believed him. That's the key. That's the other key for finding truth. You must believe the truth. Then Jesus said to those who, to, said to those Jews who believed him, comma, if you abide in my word. So where the truth come from? From the word of the father. If you abide in my word, you are my disciples indeed. Praise the Lord. Amen. I want to thank the viewers for tuning in once again. Have a wonderful weekend and a safe 4th of July. And um, just be safe. God bless you. We'll see you real soon. Let's give God a wonderful applause.